everyone. Welcome back to Close to Be Milkshake. I am your host along with support puppet, Mr. Chicken. Yes. Where's your costume, bro? Mm. Um, today we are going to talk about why I would not um, hoover somebody back. Now, this is very mm, rare um, because usually um, I'm leaving on not that terrible of terms. And so, um, you know, I like to make, make everything nice. You know that ex who just is like, well, I'm sorry that things didn't work out or, you know, you're just like, um, you give some space, they show back up, they're just, you know, want to be friends. And let me tell you, a lot of you fall for the friendship thing. There's nothing wrong with it, but if you are still um, in love with your ex, you know, nah, don't do that. Um, it's not always malicious. We're not always throwing other people in your face, but um, I sense um, in myself a lot of automatic responses of um, triangulation. So like um, if you're still friends on social media and you're posting, you know, things about you and your new person, you know, who gives a fuck? Um, I, I'm not thinking about your feelings. I'm posting my shit. And if you feel uncomfortable or whatever, that's all on fucking you. Now, um, this also makes you want to have more of a... Um, uh, a connection or you might message or um, like the comment or fucking whatever pretend that your life is fucking great and then you're you know and then we're having posting wars it's fucking stupid but um, that is just keeping you on the shelf that is not hoovering you back and that is not wanting to have a um, romantic relationship with you again so is there a difference between hoovering you back into just my orbit or is there um and is there a difference from hoovering you back into my romantic life because um i've only done that i've done that i've tried that once um with my boyfriend um my very first boyfriend in high school and um i was able to do that but once i knew that i could get him back i didn't want him anymore um later we just became you know fuck friends but um with the borderline boyfriend um yes i did the hoover back several times to get him back into my life now the um not hoovering you back at all um, not even as shelving, but just being like, later, um, it's because you have nothing more that I want. There's nothing. You're not giving me the attention that I want. You are not following the fucking script. Um, you're not letting me cross your boundaries. Um, or um, you reestablished boundaries. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? You know, um, you're being weird. You're being different. Um also not following the script um and then there's um the relationship went so downhill already that you were you know if there were hoovers over here you know so the back and forth the back and forth the back and forth you know and then we're done you know it's just it's fucking over there's nothing to go back to there was nothing um, more to learn there was no um, growth in the relationship for either of us you know and even if you're I'm talking about me but even if your um, toxic partner is completely oblivious to any of this shit they're not gonna try to fucking better the relationship anyways they're gonna blame you for everything um, it is your fault in our head that the relationship went to shit you know um we might later have some sort of fucking epiphany that we were fucked up in some you know uh way um form um uh we think that we reactively abused you 
Um, maybe we think that um, we took things too far or we said something that we should not have said um, to make you feel like, oh, I'll give him another chance. But the thing is, is even if we want another chance from you, we are not um, doing it as punishment. We actually, you know, think in our fucking heads that um, things, you know, might get better this time. And then when we get back with you, then the same fucked up feeling we feel in ourselves that you feel in yourself, like, oh God, why did I fucking do this? We feel that too, okay? So um, remember, we're blaming you, all right? Um, anyways, so after all that bullshit, we're not fucking hoovering back. Um, if we never, ever, ever hoover you, it's because either you had too strong of boundaries or you were way too fucking needy and easy and we already got what we wanted from you and we're done. Okay. Um, we want, at least I do, you know, I want, um, someone who is, um, not, not just wants to know about me. Um, but is going to give a lot of themselves and um, also um, ask questions and challenge and, you know, make it exciting. That relationship cannot be fucking boring. So if the relationship is boring to us, we're fucking gone and we're not fucking coming back. And um, I'm not saying that you're boring. You're just boring to somebody who needs all the fucking chaos and drama that we grew up with, okay? So, um, if, don't take it as a fucking slap in the face or a goddamn diss if your narcissistic person doesn't fucking hoover you back. <laughs> I mean, I understand, I am laughing because I actually, you know, wanted my crazy person to come back to me too, but see, I liked chaos. So um, if you don't like chaos, take it as a blessing. It is a blessing. So if they break up with you and you are going to go no contact because you're tired of their shit, please let the relationship be dead to you. Do not count the days that they are gone. They're dead. They're dead. They're in the ground. You're not counting no more. You can say, yeah, it's been a year without my boyfriend. I mean, we all fucking do that. You know, I've been broken up with my husband for five years now, blah, 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 or whatever, you know. But when you're doing the fucking, we've been broken up for five months, two weeks, seven days, and, you know, five hours, 50 seconds. Don't do that shit. Don't. You're, you're, um, it's, it's self-abuse. Okay. So. I hope that was helpful. Pray no hoover. Pray no hoover. Okay? Um, and have a nice day.